Hey guys, it's Kim and I am back with my next guest DT project for Craft Supplies 1. And what I have here are some gorgeous flowers that I have created. And I used some of the beautiful trims, laces, and beads from Julie's store. And buttons, actually. Um, so let me explain to you what I've done. I'm sure you saw the photographs at the beginning, but we'll go through these each one by one. And I'll start with this one here. Um, here you can see I've used this beautiful trim. It is a double layered trim. It is like white satin and then this beautiful sheer organza fabric. And I just gathered it, you know, in the usual way that everybody knows how to do that. And uh, I just gathered it up. And then I used this really beautiful, um, I call them wedding flowers, I guess. That's what they remind me of. Um, there's satin and silk and then it's got this beautiful center in this flower I just love it it's so so pretty so I just because I wanted this one just to be you know tone on tone type of thing and uh, so I put that in the center and then here I created a, a stick pin and you can see on the top this really pretty um, flower piece here it's in a little acrylic flower uh, bead that you can get in Julie's store and I put that on the top of the stick pin and then I just added some beads and things from my stash to finish it off and then here I've added some pr a little pearl spray and this is the flat back pearl that Julie sells which is right here and that's what I use to make these I just loop them around and then I added a couple of feathers and a vintage doily and that's basically it. There it is. So when I had made that, I started thinking, well, I know that this trim comes in tons of different colors, so let me share with you this one next. And this is the same uh, trim, but in a soft pink and white. And again, the same process. I put a vintage doily behind it. And here, in the stick pin, I use this beautiful um, butterfly here, this butterfly bead, which you can get at Julie's store and I made a stick pin with that and it just turned out really really pretty I love these acrylic butterflies she sells and a couple more uh, feathers and then this beautiful um, pearl spray flower I just love these flowers they're so gorgeous uh, and you can get these in Julie's store as well so that was that flower and then I thought to myself, well, why don't I get out my Lindy's? You know, I love to use sprays and do a couple of different colors of uh, using that trim. So the first one I used was, sorry for my arm, Frosted uh, Forget-Me-Not. And I sprayed the, tr the white trim and it came out this gorgeous blue color. I absolutely love it. And um, after I sprayed it, I added this beautiful flower, which you can find in Julie's store. Another uh, different uh, pearl spray flower. I love these. They're so elegant. And then up here, I just made a stick pin and added a few um, feathers and another doily. And that came out beautifully. It took the, the spray really, really well. So I thought, okay, if I can do it with that, let's try another color. So this one is hibiscus rose that I sprayed this one with. And here you can see it came out nice, but it sort of gave it almost like a tie-dye effect, which I thought was really cool. So you can sort of see it's... And that's the neat thing about spraying is, you know, it doesn't come out perfect, and it gives it more dimension, I think. So, um, again, I made the flower the same way. And I used another one of those little pink pearl spray flowers from Julie's store. Love those. And then here I made the stick pin. And again, another acrylic butterfly bead from Julie's store. I love these. And so this one's in pink. And then I added some feathers and then the doily, of course. And so there's that flower. Super pretty. So these are ready for projects. And then this one is in black and white and this is sort of the same trim it is the double layer this is the one I used on the dress form actually it's got the black satin and then the lace and then you can see here it's got one of the beautiful blingy buttons that Julie uh, just got in her store these are new and I just took some really fine uh, thread 
and she tied a tiny little knot because I didn't want to do too much in the center of that just because I wanted the bling to sort of come through really well. And then I've used a vintage doily in the background. And then the stick pin, I, this is one of my favorite stick pins actually. These bead caps Julie sells in her shop. They're really nice, good size. I love the size of these. Um, and then I've just used like a, a gr dark gray pearl and then another um, sort of looks like cut glass with a, with a rose inside it and a few more beads and some feathers and there we have this one. So that's that flower and you can see um, this trim really comes out dimensional and it's neat that you have the two layers already. And last but not least I use the uh, frosted uh, forget-me-not Lindy's again and I sprayed the doily this time just to give that effect and then this is this gorgeous beautiful lace from Julie's store and I have it right here it's right here, that's this lace super pretty and I made a little flower with that and then I used of course one of my favorite latex flowers in the center with the soft blue and then here I created this bead and this flower up here, this little um, flower bead, is from Julie's store in this lovely blue color. Um, this one's from my stash, and then there's those gorgeous bead caps again, and then just a couple more beads from my stash. And then feathers, and uh, there you go. Super simple to make, guys. Like, we all know how to make flowers, but I think that um, using some of these extra pieces from Julie's store, like, it really, really made a difference to... Um, how pretty these turned out. I just love them. Um, so definitely go and check out Julie.